All right, next question. Have you ever hung out with Bulk and Skull, Jason and Paul, in the past working for Saban, either in the studio or in general, just meeting up? We've never really met unless there was something connected to the show around it. I saw them both, uh, you know, whatever, three years ago at Morphicon. But they would come in the studio and we would hang out a bit, especially when it looked like they were going to get their own series. So um, they were very excited about it. I was excited about it. And so, you know, we just sit around and chat for a while. But unfortunately, it, um, uh, they didn't get their own series. Uh, next was, uh, have you ever worked with really funny people? If so, what are they like? They're really funny. Uh, probably the funniest right now is Cedric the Entertainer, and to just sit in a room with him to have a meeting, it's impossible not to be laughing all the time. So he's uh, he's just hysterical, and yet the nicest guy. Just absolutely normal, but funny, funny, funny. Uh, next question. You mentioned in a previous podcast that you found a guitar player who helped you with PR Redo... And if you do a second album, which I'm not, would you have them back? No. Um, I'm not doing a second. Yes, if I was, I'd have him back in a second. He was amazing. He was fast. We did all those guitar solos in one maybe 15-hour day. It was a long day, but we banged them all out. He was on it. And uh, I'm going to actually maybe be working with him on another uh, sitcom because it would involve some... um, Harder rock cues, which would be great. Very short, but uh, it'd be great to have him uh, do that. Uh, next question. Are there any projects that you've rejected or turned down in the past? Yeah, there's been quite a few. And what usually happens is I'll be into a starting a project. Let's say I'm writing themes for it, and it just looks like it's going nowhere. So I'll turn around and say, you know, I'm done, find someone else. And what's happened in the past is then they end up taking one of the themes uh, because it causes them to focus and actually make a choice once they realize I'm going to bail. I turn down a lot of small stuff these days and um, commercials, unless they're national spots, because that business um, is very difficult and it's hardly worth the time anymore. Um, so I'm not so much into commercials these days. Uh, next question. Do you think you might attend not only a Morphicon panel, but also Comic-Cons in the near future? You know, I haven't even been to Comic-Con. I may go this year and uh, hit my friends up who do Grimm if NBC's doing another big display out there. But I've never been asked to be on any kind of a panel there. Uh, if I was, I'd be there in a second. It'd be great fun. Um, Would you ever consider coming to other countries to be on panels in the UK? Yeah, absolutely. Um, If they called and I had the schedule, I would absolutely go. be a blast. Uh, Next question. Do you think it would be a great idea if Morphicon came to other countries? Yep. Uh, As not all people can make it to Pasadena. And it would help reach many other fans of the franchise and yourself around the world. Absolutely. I, I would love it if they would do that. That would be great. Um, here's some shout outs from a few people from Steve dear Ron I love Power Rangers Redo I wish PR music was more like that these days so do I Uh, from Tony to Ron always loved your music on PR from the Rock Adventure in 93 and today's 2012 PR Redo thank you Tony from Matt dear Ron is there a chance of a redo too in the near future nope sorry Matt Uh, from Tina dear Ron Do you know why you are labeled as the Mighty Raw? What does it mean? Does it mean the Mighty Raw and Aaron Wasserman? Yeah, you know, it was real simple when I was doing all these songs. My real name's Ron Wasserman. And I would be in the studio and I I thought, you know what, we need a singer, so I'm going to take Aaron Waters. Now, my middle name is Aaron, and Wasserman means waterman in German, so Aaron Waters. Now, I had my artist... So when I was in the studio working alone with myself and Aaron wasn't doing a good job, I could, you know, motivate Aaron to sing better. And Aaron would argue back with me. I know, it makes me sound like a psycho, right? But anyways, that's what I did is just character role play because I'm in the studio there at Saban, 80 hours, sometimes 90 hours a week. So you got to lighten up the mood a bit. So... Saban went, great, you're Aaron Waters. And it was perfectly smooth. Then one day, um, 
I see this thing that says uh, the Mighty Raw, and I go, what's that? And they said, oh, oh, it's a name we've come up with for you. And I went, well, there's Ron Wasserman and Aaron Waters, which is probably enough. You're just going to confuse the issue. So they insisted on the Mighty Raw, throwing that in, and uh, it confused the issue and still does to this day. Uh, From Josh. Dear Ron, loved Power Morphicon 3. It was a blast, even though there wasn't a lot of us on your panel. He means for there for the panel. It was still great to have you there. Hope to see you at the next one. Thanks, Josh. I hope so, too, and I hope it's over a weekend. Uh, from Eddie, I just purchased uh, PR Redo last month, loving the remakes of these classic songs. Thanks. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you all. I'm really nice stuff. Um, so here is another question. When starting out singing for PR songs, was there a particular artist, vocals, which inspired you, or did it just happen? Axl Rose. I think because uh, I kind of, inv- you know, I'd never sung uh, much prior to that. Uh, guide vocals for other people that was it so I kind of found that rock voice and went oh it's a little bit like Axl Rose so uh, that became the base inspiration for those vocals Uh, here's another one Uh, how were you approached for Power Rangers SPD somebody at Disney uh, had heard about me um, and so the head of music there gave me a call and said we'd love to have you work on a theme for the show and um, it worked out great Uh, next one what was the outside of uh, Angel Growth Youth Center Saban's HQ in disguise no Um, it was the show was shot in Valencia California that's where they had the sound stage in kind of a corporate because there wasn't a studio there kind of a corporate uh, business park uh, an industrial business park So that is simply the outside of one of those buildings. And I did go to the set once. Uh, I had to meet with the director about something. And it was uh, it was pretty cool to see it. I remember um, I remember it was pretty neat, pretty neat. Um, Next one. This one's from Alex. To Ron and Kathy, I always loved your music, both yours and Fisher. Thank you. You're both very talented. Is there any chance Fisher may be touring in the near future? In the near future, unfortunately, no. Only because of scheduling stuff. It is unbelievably complicated to put a band together, do the rehearsals, make the travel arrangements, and all that to go do shows. Um, I would love to do it. Uh, but the time just isn't there. And then from Lauren, I heard Fisher was planning a new album in the new future. Is that true? Yes. Uh, if so, I can't wait. I've always admired and loved all the albums. Kathy's voice is amazing. Well, I'll tell Kathy you said that, Lauren. Thank you very much. Yeah, we started working on it last year. I've written most of the tracks. Um, uh, again, just to, to go back to the other thing about how busy we are with everything. Most of the tracks were done in January, and I've been waiting to get uh, Kathy in here, a block away from our home, to the studio to sing. And every time she has a free day, I get called for something, and vice versa. So we haven't laid down a single vocal track. So it's going to be the end of the year, but I'm absolutely, absolutely going to get it done. Plus, when she does come to sing, I should back up here, She's under a contract to finish an EDM album. So the little time that she's had, she's running in here and doing her vocals for that. But it will happen, and it's some great stuff. All right. um, Well, that's it. That's it. That's all the questions. That's all? There was only like 50. (laughs) Anyways, I just want to say thanks to everybody. It's always a pleasure to answer this stuff. It's always such an honor to be asked anything about any of my work and i really appreciate it so signing off from beautiful los angeles california hope you're all doing well bye